After months of uncertainty, there are finally signs of life in the UK's once thriving theatre industry. A number of theatre houses across the country have decided to lift the curtain for the pantomime season. Oh, no, they haven't. Oh. Oh, yes, get they that have. Early, they? Uh, it's a uniquely Boom. British tradition in which classic fairy tales are retold on stage with plenty of audience participation. So as actors gear up for a season of booing and hissing, and he's behind you, let's welcome to the show Dame Dolly, who is starring in Dick Whittington at the King's <laughs> Theatre in Portsmouth. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the real pantomime. Look at that. We've got one Dame, one Jane and one Prince Charming. Now then, tell me oh, about your show. Oh, no, he isn't. <laughs> Don't start all that. Too early for all that. Dame Dolly, you're looking resplendent. Tell me about... Uh, well, this is great news, seriously, quite seriously, because it's been so difficult in recent months for theatres. And pantomime, of course, is crucial to the bottom line, isn't it? It really is. I mean, we've really pushed the boat out um, since uh, we made the decision back in April that we were going ahead with our socially distanced panto. And we are so excited that here in Portsmouth, we can actually bring that to our brilliant audiences. So we're, we're just so, so thrilled. So, so how does it work? I mean, is it, are you like the England team? Are you in a bubble? Do you have to be tested when you come in every day? And what happens if one of you goes down? Have you got a sub? <laughs> with panto traditionally there are no subs there are no understudies you just have to plow through and do the best you can um, and once you get onto the stage and once you get on the footlights and you know the, the lights hit you you are there and you're ready to go um i look it's it's one of those things we you know we all obviously have to get into some sort of bubble uh, because we will start rehearsing two weeks beforehand. So we will be sharing the same room and the same air and everything like that. We will be testing each of the cast members. We've also got children, which we're really excited about. We've had to cut that down to only six in each team, whereas it would normally be 12. But we are, you know, we are still ploughing ahead with what we call the only traditional pantomime on the South Coast. <laughs> Dame Dolly, I've been trying very hard to explain to my American colleagues exactly what panto is, and um, I'm not going to bore you with my descriptions, but why is panto so important? Because it's, it's gateway theatre for a lot of people, isn't it? It is. I mean, you've got a bit of a pantomime happening at the moment, haven't you? <laughs> well, it's a really program, good one on Christian tonight. Said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same sort of thing. It's, look, it's a real UK and a British tradition, and without it... There is no Christmas in the UK. It's so important. But what's interesting is actually starting now to develop around the world. I think Dubai have a pantomime every year now, which is, you know, which is a very strange place to put on a pantomime. Cool. But, you know, we love it. I mean, it's such a major tra tradition. Without panto, there is no do Christmas. Do, do, do you need any uh, extra cast members by any chance? Of course, I was hoping that Christian might fancy coming down and being maybe one of the ugly sisters. Oh, I'm sure he would. <laughs> I'm always the back end yes. of the cow. I can tell you that. I can always. You would be, and he's I two know my just place. behind you. I know my place. Yeah. Well, I want that. Is that real? Has someone just done that up? I've just spotted that on screen. <laughs> Well, I like the, I like the, I like the, is it a kimono? Anyway. Yeah, uh, well, Dwight, listen, Dave oh, Dolly, know. it's been lovely to see you. Thank you very much and best of luck for the season. King's Theatre, come and see us in Portsmouth. <laughs> There's your plug. Uh, come and see Dave Dolly luck. if you can. Uh, that's it from us. Don't forget I'll be with you later tonight. We're going to be there for the debate. We'll bring you live coverage of that. Carrie will be with me for then. Join us for that.